We're back and um, zooming straight to a second conversation right here on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Students uh, has vowed to ground activities at international airports across the country. Yes, believe it or not. And this is a protest against the seven-monthly or seven-month impasse between the federal government and the Academic Staff Union of Universities, which is the University Lecturers Union, ASU. Now, the chairman of the National Association of Nigerian Students National Task Force on End ASU Strike Now, uh, which is their protest, uh, Ojo Raymond Olumide, who spoke in Akure, decried uh, the attitude of the federal government towards the striking lectures as well as education as a whole. He said that the, quote, four-day shutdown of busy highways and ex expressways across the country had been a success, hence the move to disrupt international travel in order um, for the Bourgeois and the government to feel the pains, he says, that had they had subjected students to in the past seven months. All right. Uh, and of course, we are glad to have uh, the National Association, the Public Relations Officer of the National Association of Nigerian Students joining us on the program this morning. Giwa Yisa is in Lagos. Giwa, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Nan saying they would like to disrupt flights and block the nation's airports. Um, some will think and will say that is not a good idea because of how important uh, air travel is to Nigeria and the risk involved if you, you, you do it wrongly and people could get injured, people get hurt. You know, if a plane is in the air, there's no way for it to park. It's coming down. Why airports? My name is Tommy Dwighter, the National Council. Um, I think last week, inside the protest, as we see, I am within, um, some of the living camp, people living camp, and that's it. Like, um, so, we really stop the masses. I would believe that coming and joining the Lagos airport, we are going to affect the airlines. There's most people that use that, that make use of the airport. Now, the world is going to be here. And the, the don't buy the airport. Yeah, so Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead with your thoughts, Giwa. Hello, now, yeah? Go ahead. Okay, yeah. And I was saying, I said, the reason why we are joining the airport. One that is being owned by flag office and is going to affect the politicians and the people. Well, so, so my question to you now do, do you think that this is rational? Do you think that this will yield any result? Will this force the hands of government? Because you have two parties. Can you take the question? Excuse me? I'm asking, do you think that this is a rational thing to do? I mean, the fact that you're looking at airports and we understand, you know, the, how that contributes to our economic growth. I mean, we're looking at the transport sector, and that's a lot, a means of transportation. But my question here is, do you think that this will yield any result whatsoever? Is this rational? Um, yeah. Thank you for that question again. Um, I think when ever to you inform the public that uh, you are sounding the airport, there are some moves that are taken by the um, politician. One speaker trying to meet the, uh, with the leader of AFI. Also, Buhari, um, President Mohamed Buhari, trying to call him to go to the hospital. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, Giwa, if you can hear us. Um, so you're saying basically that this move is meant to affect uh, the high and mighty. Uh, is it that the, your blockade of some expressways in the country, um, intrastate and interstate, did not work to pass the message to government? Is that what you think? Is all you're saying?
Yeah, okay, I'm, say, I'm saying you, 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 you said that the bourgeois, uh, uh, all the, the, the high and mighty, those in the political class, the elites in the country, you're saying that this blockade of the airports will affect them directly, and that's why you're going there. Is it that the one you did on the ropes recently, last week, did not achieve the desired result? Right now, they are being fighting now. One of the officers, um, there will be a bank that scared him. So they are going to lose money today. One, two, the international uh, um, body. Well, uh, they are going to like, good. Hello? Yeah, yeah, go on, Giwa, just r r round off, yes. Okay. I think that we'll probably have to connect with you, you know, maybe sometime in the course of the day to find out what's going on with your activities as regards this protest. However, we've not been having a very smooth network and connection with you. And we're also out of time. Giwaisa, thank you so much for being part of the show. All right. All right. That's the size of a package. And... Uh... Uh, apologies for that connection problem. He wasn't hearing us too well. But hey, the show must go on. We'll definitely will keep our eyes on uh, this next move by the students to see if it will work. Messi, uh, I don't think I've seen anything like that in, in recent times. Students blocking the airports. How they will gain access to the airports, what I was uh, wish to have known. Uh, the, whether they're going to just block the roads leading to the airports. There are pictures yeah. already, uh, you know, that has made the rounds. I mean, you have these pictures on the internet. But however, like I mentioned, will definitely be on top of the situation as we proceed in the course of the day. If you missed out on any part of it, we'll be okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa. And Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, I am Messi Ebukbo. Many thanks for watching. And my name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.